Hey guys, this is Jesse with Sharp Brighton Tactical. Um, this is my first attempt at a video review, so we'll see how that goes. If it works out, then maybe I'll uh, try a few more of them. If it sucks, you'll have to forgive me. Um, what I'm going to be doing here today is a little brief review of my uh, SE3 that I got a little while back ago. Um, and also this uh, custom sheath that you see here, which is a NYX leather uh, leather Kydex hybrid sheath. Um, so first thing is the knife. Um, it's the, the the model, as some of you guys know who follow SE, the SE3 has a, uh, a lot of different variations. Uh, there's almost enough of those as there is, you know, all the other different models of SE. This one is the SE3 mil CP, which is clip point. So you see here, it actually has a sharpened back to about right there where my thumb is, in case you can't see it. Um, so, and this is the uh, the combo edge, as you can see there, the serrations on the bottom, and it has the uh, glass breaker pummel. Let it there. Let's see if you can see that. Um, I wanted the uh, I, you know I did a lot of thinking before I ordered a three, and uh, I decided I wanted the the mill, um, for a couple of reasons, I like having the glass break uh, pummel. Uh, some of you guys might know I have a history in emergency services, so I've, I, you know, you'd be really surprised how difficult it can be to break a car window, and having a glass punch is just always a useful tool, even if this may primarily be a woods blade for me. You just never know, and also, you know, having that sharpened. I mean, it's not it's not sharp. You're not going to cut yourself, but having that pointed pummel. It's just another tool in the uh, in the toolbox. You just never know uh, when that could come in handy. The other reason is the micarta scales are actually different on the mill series than they are on the regular. Uh, on the regular, they're uh, made out of um, I think it's linen micarta, I believe, and these are canvas micarta. It's either that or I'm getting it reversed. Let me check here. Green canvas micarta, they call this. So um, I just, I like, it's a little bit of a rougher feel. Um, I like the look. I like the feel of that style of micarta better, uh, having had both. Uh, I went for the sharpened clip point um, I, for, you know, it, there was a, I did, what, did a lot of thinking about that because uh, there's definitely, some people said there's legal issues with that because I guess it's a, a double-sided um, blade at that point. Um, I'm not an expert. In any of that at all, uh, I did some reading beforehand for my locale and did not see any legal concerns with it. Um, but that's something I've been told could be a problem uh, for people. Uh, the reason I got it is because it gives me a second working edge to do things that I don't want to dull up the main edge. Uh, basically, like you know, striking a ferro rod works great for that. Um, opening boxes, things that I just, you know, I don't want to gum up my main edge. Uh, you know, the downside of it is, though, that I can't do fine work with my thumb up here because you'll, you know, cut your hand. Uh, there are some good grip points here. So you can definitely still get a good grip on the knife, but I have caught myself trying to work my way up the spine and then realizing that was a very bad idea. Uh, but I have to say, it gives you just an amazingly fine tip. Uh, which has so far proved to be very strong that it's just, it's been great for, uh, you know, things like, I, you know, I think so far I've pulled out, uh, cut, you know, flipped out little splinters with it out of my palm. And uh, I know this is kind of gross, but it works really well for lancing blisters. It's just a really great, fine, sharp tip, uh, which, you know, it can be kind of hard to come by on a lot of knives, um, especially with, you know, a thicker, thicker steel. Um, so anyway, uh, uh, just like Aaron, I don't go out and, uh, you know, try to beat the hell out of my knives to see what they can take. Uh, I don't have any problem with guys that do that. I think that's really cool, and it gives all of us a sense of what these knives can take. And plenty, plenty of people have done it to the SE knives and proven that they can take pretty much any kind of beating you give them. And um, so, you know, I, I just haven't done that with it. That's not what this review is about. Uh, I think it'll hold up fine in the field. I've done, like I said, small chores around. I've taking it in the, in the woods a few times, you know, just lighting fires, whittling down sticks, getting splinters out, 
that sort of thing. Nothing intense, but uh, I've definitely been really happy with it. Uh, so anyway, that's the SC3. Now, <clears throat> I want to take a second to talk about this sheath here. Uh, this is a NYX leather, which is NIX leather uh, custom sheath here. And it's uh, it's pretty interesting design. What it has is a uh, a Kydex. It's not it's not a full liner. I don't believe it doesn't go all the way down. It only goes to maybe about like where you set where you see these first set of straps. Uh, but because of that, you just have awesome uh, blade retention in the sheath. I mean, it's just phenomenal. And uh, I also I just I think it looks really cool too. But um, then it's it's a very modular sheath. I've been really impressed because you have these straps here. These are snaps. This is hard to do one-handed. Um, that wrap around so you can unsnap it and then uh, carry it, you know, horizontal carry on your belt or strap it to your pack, anything like that. So that's nice, but you're not limited to that because it comes with this piece right here, which is kind of like a standard drop loop that you'd put on your belt. So what you can do is just, this is just how I store it on there. You don't have to keep it on there if you're, you know, new, you want to carry horizontal, but you just slide it up to just the first one there, snap all this back, uh, which is, there we go, and then boom, you have a nice little uh, drop rig that can hang from your belt, uh, which, uh, you know, I just, I just find this, uh, the versatility awesome. And then uh, right here, this was not included with it. This is just a little ferro rod that I stuck on there. Um, there's just a just enough gap to fit that size. Uh, and the nice thing is this, because of the way the design is with these uh, hex screws, this part is uh, it's not coming loose unless you take an Allen key to it. And uh, uh, that's the other, I forgot to mention that. These straps with the hex that was included, you can actually take these two screws out and all of the straps will come off. And so all you'll have is this middle piece here, the actual sheath itself. So if you want to kind of do a bare bones version, it's, uh, it's not difficult. Uh, so just like I said, a lot of versatility. Very impressed with his work. I don't think he's actually uh, making sheaths right now. I, I, I don't know. I think maybe he moved, something like that. But uh, if you check his website uh, or his Facebook page, uh, he talks about... Um, uh, getting getting back in production soon, and I, I really highly recommend his work. It's it's really actually pretty affordable for what you get. I in my opinion, I mean, you know, uh, the these these hybrid sheaths are not cheap, and I I found his work to be pretty uh, reasonably priced. And also, uh, he's a nice guy. He uh, gets back with you when you email him, uh, so you should drop him a line. Uh, the other thing I wanted to cover is the sheath that came with the SE. Um, not a bad sheath. Uh, it's not Kydex. The 3 does not come with Kydex. Uh, I think the 5 does, and uh, I think the Hugulus. I'm not sure, but, but the 3 does not. It's, um, I guess it's an injection molded plastic. Uh, it's not a lot different than Kydex, but it's, you know, you, it's not quite as nice. It's got more of a glossy feel to it. It's, you know, it's plasticky, but it's still not a bad sheath for coming with it. It's a lot better than a, you know, little cordura a piece of crap you know it's definitely usable and it comes with a few different very uh, options it came with molly locks and it also came with this boot clip back which i attached um you know it's something you can kind of stick in your back pocket something like that uh you know obviously generally i use this sheath but um you know it's it's not bad i just thought for those of you who aren't interested in getting you know spending the extra money on a sheath it's definitely um it's definitely not bad the the factory factory sheath um, as far as my ordering, I ordered it off uh, Knife Center. Uh, I think it was, eh, I've, I've ordered a couple things off them, and I was pretty happy just for people who are thinking about it. But uh, I know, I think Aaron and I have both ordered off of Knife Works out of Louisiana, and they, they are awesome. But the reason I went with Knife Center is they had a, a really wide selection of all the different uh, three models, and um, the knife, knife Center did. Knife Works was pretty limited in. Uh, in the different variations of the three that they carried. Um, let's see. I, I'm not really, I'm not going to go over the specs. You can look them up. Everyone throws the specs out in their videos. But it's just to uh, give you an idea of uh, the rundown on this, this blade and uh, this really awesome custom sheath. And uh, I'm really happy with all of it. 
So, um, yeah. Hope you guys liked the video. Uh, take it easy.